Yo, dudes, bringing you some on meta D2 build content. Wanted to show this off because season five ladder, I found this shield that I socketed with five perfect facets for cold. Artisan's Gothic Shield of Frost Shield. You probably saw this on a couple of my builds, the Frozen Death Knight or the Rift Bear Sorceress. Um, and so basically, this shield provides a big bump to your damage for cold, and it looks super cool too. Check it out. Um, and it pairs really nicely with Nightwings, you know. And then here's a Doom. Poorly rolled, but it's the only one I have on non-ladder here. And so let's just show off a little bit of this build. This is how I like to roll with my Wind Druid, which I just, I focus primarily on the cold damage, and I don't even really use the tornadoes and stuff like that for the most part. For bosses, yeah, it does speed up the kill, though. So let's quickly, quickly, three to elemental skills here, Enigma, Arachnid Mesh, FCR 10 strength, Mana, All Res Ring. With Stone of Jordan, I crafted these nice boots. Run Walk, Mana, Regenerate Mana, Increase Maximum Mana, Fire, and a big bump to Poison, which is good because uh, our Cyclone Armor uh, does not resist Poison. And then we have, I crafted these two. I didn't need the FCR to hit a certain breakpoint. So I didn't use Mage Fist or Trangs. So these, though, have mana per kill, cold resist, regenerate mana, mana. Frost Nova 1 Struck was on theme, so kind of cool on that. All elemental skillers, Sunder, and then just these small charms are just like resist and stuff. I got a nice Annie 2017, a decent Torch for Druid 1618. More life, more poison res here. Mercenaries running, Flickering Flame, Treachery, and an Infinity. Okay, and points are just all into the cold uh, side for the elemental. And then we just have 1.1 wonders here with 16 into Oak Sage. So basically what I do is I have a facet in this Mang Songs that's plus 5%. So that's 5 to all skills with 5%. And I like to cast Cyclone Armor. So that's almost 3,000 absorbed. It's at level 45. And then, and then Hurricane at level 45. Right, and then I switch over to this stuff, and we have negative, um, our negative 68% to enemy cold resistance. And then the Mercenary's Infinity brings that down further, so, uh, we're down minus 100% most of the time on most of the enemies, you know? So check it out. Yep. <laughs> this is, uh, stupidly strong, you know? And we look cool doing it. We got the cold frozen aura, or the holy freeze aura going around us, the cyclone armor. And then we also have, um, ooh, an IO rune, sure. And then rare amulet. We also have, uh, two to elemental. Look at that. That's actually not bad for us. I could use that instead. I just found that, that's actually a really nice find. Uh, it's two to elemental. Did you see that? 2 to Elemental, 10 Energy, 27 Life, 37 Resist, Fire Res, 11. Dude, why don't I just use that right now? That's honestly... I just found that. That's pretty sweet. Okay, so uh, switch to Mang Songs, and then what I do is I cast Cyclone Armor, and then Hurricane, and then I switch back to the Doom and everything, and we just kind of stand there. Um, you see that? It's just kind of nuts. Yeah. Uh, the Oak Sage is nice. Our life is over 3,000. Okay, let's see how we do against this guy. Because this guy can sometimes be a pain. But you know the Holy Freeze, man? With the slowing effect? So OP. Mercenaries run in prayer, too. So we're just regenerating while everybody's just sta standing there. Kind of kind of ridiculous, right? I know. It's so strong. All right, so let's recast our Cyclone Armor and our Hurricane. Tell he's stop in. And then you can use the Tornadoes here to kind of speed up everything. And look at this guy. He can't even really move, you know? So I am casting the Tornado with against the boss just because they have so much life. And there you go. I mean, the, this is such a crazy good build, you know? Um... And I wanted to show it as well, because... Oh, look at that Dark Adherent. I wanted to show it as well, because... Uh, 
I am going to use some of this gear for another off meta build that I want to show on the channel. So I wanted to show this one um, while I, before I like, you know, respec or like dump the gear on somebody else. Just thought I have it all ready to go. So let's check it out, you know. Um, so anyway, that is this dude. Let's go to some other areas for fun because this build is really fun to use. I love the coverage. I love um, just how you can kind of just stand there and AFK basically, which is pretty uh, insane and powerful, you know. But basically, let's let's go. Um, yeah, that was a this was a nice uh, nice find here. Although the um, I feel like the damage is probably just I'll just take the damage for now, but. That was cool that I just found this perfectly nice amulet for this character. All right, so let's uh, let's see where else we want to go. Chaos Sanctuary. I'm like sure. You can just do all the toughest areas with this character without even thinking about it, really. So yeah, I did sacrifice some like FCR, you know, on the character, but you don't really need it because you're not. I'm not really relying on the wind aspect I'm just doing the cold you know I could get more coverage if I summon the spirit wolves too but I just like I don't know I didn't I didn't I just didn't want just didn't need them so I just have the dire wolves out and the uh grizzly and that's it and it seems to be enough large charm let's check this out two to strength But yeah, I love running this build this way, as opposed to, like, focusing on the FCR and um, the physical aspect. That's perfectly cool, though. I think that's, that can be a great way to go, because then you can run, like, Decrepify on your, um, on your Mercenary and stuff, you know? And just focus on the, the physical aspect. That's really not a bad way to go, either. But I do like this setup, and as I was showing before, I do like that I got to craft some some caster gloves and boots for it. It's like just a nice reason to use that stuff, you know, since you don't need the FCR as bad. And my breakpoint isn't that horrible, look. Like, that's not that bad, you know. Rare Greaves. Gotta check those out. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we've been having fun with the live streams, too. I did just post a video uh, that just showed some highlights from part 19 only. There aren't highlights from other videos. I just wanted to try it out. Just, um, it th those take a little bit longer to put together, though, just because you have to, like, sift through footage and edit and stuff so um let me know if you think i should keep doing those based on like the engagement i got from it it seems like people don't really want to watch that but you know we'll see maybe if i did more of them it would like maybe catch on a little bit more but from what i've seen so far it, it, it seemed like people i it seemed like people were um like if they want to see any live footage of anything they just kind of tune into the live streams which that's cool I mean that's fine um, but I so I was just trying that out to see what what people's reaction would be I, I thought it was kind of fun to make the video um, just because there's some funny moments and stuff that maybe a lot of people who sub to the channel wouldn't actually see because it's like kind of daunting to sit there and be like dude you streamed for like five hours I'm not gonna watch all that you know um, and so that's kind of another reason why I tried it was just trying to see if like uh, maybe some people who don't catch the live streams could just kind of see a glimpse of what some of that is you know um, and I'm pretty much the same <laughs> in the live streams as I am you know on here um, there isn't too much difference with it but yeah let me know what you guys thought about the highlight thing did you did, is it not interesting to you was it you know did did the thumbnail not appeal to you or something um, is that is that partially why you know uh, I'd, I'd be interested to know I guess um, uh, did you think I was trying to be clickbaity with the um, thumbnail because uh, it wasn't it was an actual there was an actual genuine reaction 
You know, I did have someone say once that they thought um, me putting my face on some of the thumbnails. This is just one person. But he, he, and he was, he, was in, he was not being mean or anything, but he just thought that it was a little clickbaity. He, he didn't like it, you know, and I just thought, uh, well, I, I, th I, think, uh, I think it has improved my thumbnail quality personally by, by adding in a little bit more dynamic to it. But, um, yeah, I'm not trying to be clickbaity, you know, I'm trying to make just decent thumbnails. And, uh, and then I've had other people tell me that they thought the thumbnails have improved recently. So, uh, you know. Uh, can't please everybody, I guess. But anyway, just curious if uh, if there was a reason. If you were if you were someone who just thought, nah, I don't really want to watch the highlight for the live stream. It's not really something I'm interested in. Let me know. Just let me know. Like if you thought that what what you thought about that, or maybe you just weren't aware. Maybe it didn't show up in the algorithm or something. So, okay, as you can see, we just completely uh, were just hanging out here. Like I was just talking casually casually going through the Chaos Sanctuary and that Diablo kill was just absolutely nothing, you know? So, pretty cool. Pretty cool build. Um, I also know Mr. Llama showed something recently on the channel where he was using Arctic Blast and he called it a meme build. Not a bad roll on this, 267. He called it a meme build, but it's... that's not a meme build, I don't think, because... Just because he was shooting this once in a while, uh, you know, it was like, um, he, he was using Hurricane and Summons and Oak Sage exactly the same as I am doing right now. So you could like take all these points away from Oak Sage and just, um, max Arctic Blast like he did. And you'd have literally the exact same build. <laughs> I don't think it's a meme build to use Arctic Blast uh, with Hurricane being this powerful, you know? What he didn't have is he used the Spirit Shield. I used this for even more cold <laughs> damage, you know? Um, and I, I think I s probably cast my Mang Songs at a higher level, too. Uh, and this is ladder, or non-ladder, sorry, non-ladder. So this is a real build, you know, online. Uh, let's see, how are we doing on time? We're at 12 minutes. All right, we'll just do one more area just to see. But yeah, so he 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 called it a meme build, uh, and not throwing shade whatsoever. But I but I was thinking that he was going to show like an Arctic Blast druid that primarily used Arctic Blast, you know. And I I uh, I did level this character as Arctic Blast actually. I used uh, I named him Squall, which is a type of storm, you know. And I used this, a Wizard Draw with a three to mana after each kill jewel in it. And um, this has negative 34% to enemy cold res. It can go up to 35. And I think it can roll as low as maybe 25 or something like that. And um, the Wizen Draw is an excellent weapon. You can use it at level 26. It's an excellent weapon to level as an Arctic Blast Druid. So if, and look, Arctic Blast only, only has synergy with Cyclone Armor. Um, it's not a good skill, but if you really wanted to, and you kind of wanted to play the game like, how do I, you know, if I go fire, how do I deal with, you know, the fire immunes? Well, you could just max out Arctic Blast and Cyclone Armor, you know, and uh, I don't know, something else. Like, you could even go shapeshifting and then just like, if you run into a physical immune or something, just hit him with Arctic Blast, you know? It, you could have fun like that, and then you could get a mercenary that does fire damage or lightning damage. So, but yeah, Wizen Draw. Um, not super expensive to have a nicely rolled Wizen Draw, I don't think, either. But something to consider is that that could be a nice option. And it looks cool that you get to have a bow on a druid who's shooting an ice blast out. So let's see. I, I think we could do another area. Uh, Trav would probably be fine. Uh, we have Flickering Flame. And there's no cap on resistances for these summons. So they're going to have like 170 fire res during this whole uh, encounter, which is cool. So Mang Song's out, and then we cast Hurricane and Cyclone Armor. And then we slow everybody, and let's... Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Is that not just a thing of beauty right there? Oh, look. Here's one more guy. 
He's cold enchanted too. Oh my gosh. Yep. <laughs> and that's why I love this character, you know? So, I do play characters that are incredibly powerful in meta sometimes, alright? It doesn't have to always be off meta. You can't even know what off meta is until you've played, like, strong builds, right? Uh, let's ID some of this stuff, though, since we're here. Highland Blade, Matriarchal Javelin. What if this was the fabled 640? It's one with damage to undead, okay. Um, so like I said, I am going to show some more, another an off meta build, though, with some of the gear that's on this character. Uh, 439 and level 16 ain't bad for that Grand Charm, actually. Is this ethereal? Let's just look really quick. It's not. Okay. Some of those rares, that's all you have to do is just pick them up and see if they're ethereal if you don't feel like identifying every little thing, you know? But, oh, here's some special dudes. I might as well kill them, right? Just because they're there. But just look. I mean, I, I love this how you just, you just telly stomp and... Boom, everything dies. Boom, everything dies. These guys are even cold immune normally. But yeah. So guys, thanks for checking out the video. This is my druid squall. Uh, Final Fantasy VIII reference there too. And he is so freaking icy cool strong. Love it. All right, dudes. Thanks a lot. Talk to you later. Goodbye.